What's going on, Aquarius? It's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to bring you your Saturn retrograde reading. I hope all is well with my aqua mommies and poppies. I hope you guys are, um, you know, enjoying yourselves and enjoying your life as much as possible despite what's going on in the external world with this COVID thing. Still should be able to, you know, partake in the blessings in life and, um, you know, look at the things that you are grateful for and the things that you do have. But I digress with that. I do want to thank you guys for all the air energy you bring to the channel. I appreciate your love and support. I'm celebrating one year on the uh, YouTube channel. And um, it wouldn't be a, a, a good successful year if I didn't have your air energy here um, <clears throat> connecting with me every, every step of the way. So thank you, thank you. If you need a personal reading, my information is in the box below. Um, if you are a Taurus sun, moon, rising or Venus and Taurus, all throughout Taurus season, you do get 50% um, off of the tarot card readings I offer. I offer five different tarot card readings, but this promotion only works for uh, tarot card readings number two, three, and four. They're labeled, they're in the box below this video. There will be an extended to this video. That membership link for Patreon is in the box below. It's only five bucks a month. Okay, and you get to see all the extendeds for all the signs. So for those of you who are into astrology and you follow the placements in your chart, this is a great way for you to be able to um, get some insight, especially if the channel resonates with you and your energy. Um, it's a great way for you to get some insight on what's going on in the other areas of your chart. So that, you know, because you know you're just not your sun sign. You know, you can't base your whole life and decisions and things like that just based off your first house. You have 11 other houses that have a, a serious impact uh, in your life. Now, the first house gives you um, what you would call the lens through which the rest of your chart is interpreted. interpreted. Um, but you got to see the other 12 houses as well. Speaking of the first house, um, Saturn is in retrograde in your first house. Now, Saturn is your co-ruler. Uranus is your... Uh, your ruler, all right, and Saturn co-rules. So you guys are familiar with Saturn energy, all right? So Saturn is uh, Father Time. Saturn Saturn is all about, you know, your reputation, how people see you. Um, it's all about um, structures, authority. You know, the government falls under Saturn energy, okay? And on a mass scale, we're seeing what's going on with the government, um, with Saturn and retrograde now, because things have changed with this COVID situation, the rules and regulations that the government puts out is going to change. So we're going to start seeing a little bit of the government relaxing a bit with us in reference to the, the stringency of, you know, you can't go out, you can't do that, you know, you can't do this. We're going to see that changing a bit, all right, as the country slowly starts to um, get working again, you know, as far as the people who were laid off and things like that. We know things are never going to go back to the way they were. And um, that's what Saturn retrograde is all about. It's like things are not going to go back to the way they were. So you're going to need new structure, new rules, new regulations, new forms of authority to deal with and, and regulate the change of time. Okay? Because Saturn is father time. So we're going to see how this is going to affect you, um, being as though it's retrograde in your first house. Now, the first house is all about... Um, it's the most personal house of, of, of all the 12 houses because this house is, um, it reflects your, um, your style, your disposition, your temperament, your outward behavior, your dislikes and your likes. Um, it also reveals the way you present yourself to others and the way the outside world sees you. So, um, you know, this is the house that talks about, you know, what, how you go about, how you look at life, what you want in life and how you go about achieving those goals. All right. Um, and this is the uh, most important point in the uh, chart for you because this is where your house begins. You know, you're the first house. Now, also, your house of Aquarius regulates like-minded individuals getting together in the form of groups, organizations, um, any other type of word that you can describe where there's more than three people getting together for something. So a group, an organization, a society, a... Um, a club, you know, your, your, your chess club, you know, your team, you know, however it, however that works. But this governs the energy of people getting together to work together for a common goal. It, it, it can be anything as, um, it can be a range of things. It could be something that's like your work environment. You all are working. You all have your own individual responsibilities. But the organization that you work for, they work together for a common goal. 
right? It could be um, your leisure, okay? It could be, you know, what you do for fun. So you might do, you know, hobbies, things like that, where you, you, you sign up for group organizations based on the hobbies you like. You being in a chess club, you know, you being in a sorority, um, you being in a, um, I mean, in a baking group, you know, the type of church you go to. Um, you know, that's an organization that gets together for one common cause. And then it even talks about your social life, your friends, the type of people you decide to associate with. All right. So with Saturn and retrograde here, what it's looking at is, um, you know, as time goes on, we outgrow things. Okay. So, you know, you may have done something that you, you know, you were doing rampantly as a child, but now as an adult, you would look ridiculous doing that. All right. And it's also, it's about how you look about others, how other people see you. It's about your reputation. It could be about how they see you in a career front, how people see you as far as your friends, um, or how people in your organization see you, okay? And so if you are operating in outdated old ways and routines that no longer work for what's going on, it's going to make you look bad, okay? So Saturn retrograde brings back old, outdated <clears throat> patterns and ideas of doing things that you used to have <clears throat> that no, you no longer have. But the crazy thing is, is now Saturn wants to bring that back to you again to see if you're still going to try to operate in those outdated ways. And if you do, that's when Saturn's going to clap on you. It could be something as severe as, so for example, maybe back in your um, college days, you know, you used to party, you used to, maybe you did cocaine, you know. Um, and so you outgrew it because you knew that, okay, this was just a phase I was going through. I experimented. Um, you know, maybe you were in a position where you got addicted, but you weren't in a position where you got addicted, but maybe some of the people you were doing it with in college, unfortunately, based on their DNA makeup, they may have become addicted. So they may still be dibbling and dabbling in it. Okay. So you, you know, fast forward years go by, let's say a decade goes by, you run into one of these old friends and you ain't seen them in a while. And um, they're like, hey, you know, I'm having to get together. You know, just imagine COVID is not as stringent as it is now. Um, hey, I'm having to get together. Come on over. So you go on over. OK. And, you know, you realize this person, you know, you could see them and look at them and tell that they've changed a lot physically. Um, but you realize that it's because they still dibble dabble in the Coke. So they're like, hey, have some. You know, and you are at that point, that is where Saturn retrograde is saying, hey, this is an old, outdated habit you outgrew. Are you going to indulge? Now, you could say, no, you know, I'm, I'm not into that anymore. And, you know, there you pass Saturn's test. Or you could think that, you know, hey, it's only once. Let me try it. It's not like I'm going to do it all the time. And you do it. Now, how Saturn's going to get you is you may end up because, you know, you're older now. All right. Time has changed. Your body has changed a bit. Now you may become addicted. Okay? So now it's going to ruin your reputation because you're going to be known as somebody who does drugs, who does cocaine. And that might not be good for your career. Okay? Because, again, it's all about how you're seen, how people see you, your reputation. And it's also in the first house because this is how other people see you. So this is, this is an example of what Saturn can do, you know, in retrograde in reference to your reputation and how people see you. All right. So, I mean, it could be something as simple as that. That's not simple being addicted to a, nar you know, a narcotic, um, if that's what it is. But um, it could be something more severe where you could take in too much. And, you know, how you used to do when you were a kid, you used to be able to sniff a certain amount and be fine. And now as an adult, you think, oh, OK, yeah, I was able to do that when I was a kid. And you try to take in that same amount and you end up ODing. OK, it could be as severe as that. Saturn is not a joke. OK, Saturn is about karma. Saturn is about discipline. Saturn is about structure. Saturn is about laws, rules, morals, integrity, ethics. OK, all of that. So you got to be very careful when Saturn is in retrograde. What it's telling you is, OK, here's the old stuff you used to do. Let me see if you're going to fall for it again. Let me see if you've grown, if you've learned. All right. So this is how Saturn is going to affect you guys. Now, it may not, everybody may not resonate with this. Everybody may, and, and what I gave was just an example, okay? I'm not saying that that's how it's going to come at you, but that's just an example of what Saturn is going to present to you. It's going to present old, outdated ways, old, outdated routines, shit you used to do when you were at a certain mental state back into your life. Even though you left it alone, it might just reintroduce it to you to test you, 
to see if you're going to tap into it. And if you do, it's going to ruin you in some way, shape, or form, okay? So let's see how this is going to come into your life. All right, stop shuffling. We got the Seven of Swords energy here. This is your energy, Aquarius energy. All right, so this is something sneaking up on you. You may not see it coming. You may not know it's coming. All right, but this could be a situation here where something could be someone or some place or something could be trying to re-enter into your life sneakily to take from you in some way, shape, or form. Okay, let's see what's going on with that. Okay, so we got the death card in reverse, which is uh, Scorpio energy. Okay, so get that uh, clarified with the Queen of Swords, Libra energy. We have the Major Arcana, the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy, clarified with the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy again, clarified with the Three of Swords, more Libra energy. So here we have the Libra energy cards. This is Saturn and Libra. Okay, Saturn. Learning lessons. We have Virgo energy here. Okay, and then we have two major arcana, Scorpio and Taurus, which are the opposite polarities of each other. All right, interesting. So, death card reverse. This tell me. This to me is telling me that you let something go. Okay, so death in reverse means that death represents um, a transition in life. Okay, like I said, father time. You don't play with toys anymore like you did as a kid. Okay, you've transformed, you've changed, and now you are dealing with things um, moving forward. You can never go back to that stage in life because you are not going to go back to being a kid. So this is what death represents. The end of one stage of life and the beginning of another. Okay, so you've ended something. We have that clarified with the Queen of Swords, meaning that you see here that, you know, you had to cut things off that no longer served you, okay? So you ended something and you cut it out of your life, okay? Because it was something that no longer served you. It was something that caused you a lot of pain. You learned from it, okay? Whatever it was that you transcended out of, you learned from it and you cut it out. So now you are the wiser, okay? You still are a good person. You still are a kind person. It's just you learned a lot of lessons and you realize you got to pull that sword out every once in a while. Because you're not dealing with a bunch of BS like you used to anymore. Maybe you're just not as naive as you used to be. Okay? You see things clearly now. You didn't see things as clearly before. So you went through a very transformative stage where you had to grow up. You know, something unfortunate may have happened. You had to grow up and you had to let it go. Now we got the Hierophant energy here. Okay? We have that clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. So for some of you, that represented a divorce. The Hierophant energy talks about being married, talks about tradition, talks about conformity. Okay, so conformity would be authority, okay, as well. So this could represent the fact that some of you, you used to work for someone and now you have your own business with the Nine of Pentacles, you're doing your own thing. This could also represent the fact that some of you got out of a divorce, okay. So these are major transitions in life. So the Death card represents major transitions. So you cut out things that were no longer good for you. Um, you learned a lot of lessons. So for some of you, this was a marriage. You ended the marriage and now you're single because the Nine of Pentacles represents singleness. For a lot of you, this represents that you were working for someone on the Hierophant because that represents organization, structure, conformity, okay, education, all right? And now that you've graduated, now you're able to go out and start your own business. So you, and you left one stage of life, which is college. You learned a lot of lessons. You cut out the things that would no longer serve you. You look at things um, in a more serious manner. And um, you let go of that. And now you're able to um, go out on your own in the world and start your own business. This could also represent the fact that someone used to work for other people. Okay? And so now what they've done is they've left that type of life. And now they work for themselves. Um, but also here with this Eight of Pentacles and then the Three of Swords here, this could represent you're focusing on something, okay? Because the Eight of Pentacles will represent work, workaholic, focusing on something, all right? Um, and with the Three of Swords here, this represents something that was emotionally um, hurtful to you, okay? Um, the Three of Swords could represent that there were people involved in a situation where, you know, <clears throat> how can I say this? 
for some of you, you know, you left the relationship. You left the relationship because there could have been other people in the relationship, okay? Um, your partner could have been doing things purposely to deceive you, okay? They could have been stealing money from you because um, we got pentacles here. This could have been something that happened in the workplace as well, okay? There could have been a situation that happened with your career, okay? Someone could have deceived you. You could have gotten caught up in something um, that didn't work out. You learned from it, and you know you may have had to deal with court. You may have had to deal with uh, a judicial decision. Um, you may have had to deal with the higher powers that be that run things. Okay, and um, now it's like you're doing things by yourself. You're not in a group anymore. You're not working with a group. So this could represent that this was a group situation um, that you were working in. I'm getting strongly work, the work environment. Okay, um, and marriage relationships. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so with the Seven of Swords energy, this is someone who could have been deceiving themselves or someone was deceiving you out to get something from you to take advantage of you. It could have been the person you were married to. Okay, they could have been sneaking around cheating with the Three of Swords energy. Um, in a work environment, this could be, you know, someone who was a friend you thought was a friend and they deceived you. <clears throat> but we have the two of wands here so it looks like you're not moving forward with that situation whether it was a work situation whether it was a friendship situation or what have you um with the five of swords in reverse here this represents manipulative energy this is your energy aquarius energy this could represent the fact that you know this person may be coming back into your life they want to make amends okay um with the four of wands in reverse here this could represent someone moving out okay um, and with the star card energy, this is your energy as well. This could represent, you know, someone being depressed, upset, being ignored. Okay. So you could have been in a situation where, you know, your person was seeing other people. Okay. In this relationship. <clears throat> if this is a marriage or a relationship, your person was seeing other people behind your back, not letting you know what was going on. And you, uh, some of you, you know, maybe you wanted to be married to this person, but for whatever reason, they wouldn't marry you. And it could have been because they were seeing other people. A lot of you, they were playing mind games with you, just trying to keep you around, um, to keep control of you. Um, for some of you, you know, it could involve drug use. Um, it could involve, um, this person just basically ignoring you, ignoring your needs, your wants, and what you, you know, what you, um, wanted to bring to the relationship or what you brought to the relationship. Or they were just taking from you and ignoring you is what I'm getting here strongly. Because the first house could deal with the people that, you know, how people see you. All right. The people that you deal with on a regular basis. And since we're talking your house, this is about your friends, your social life. So this could be anybody that you associate with, you know, a lover, a friend. Some of you may have had a friend who slept with your partner. Okay. see what else we got here so we got the four of cups followed by the five of cups followed by the eight the five of pentacles reverse followed by the ace of pentacles followed by the queen of cups reverse so somebody's feeling unfulfilled they're not happy in the situation here um they ended up leaving this person or breaking up with this person mourning the loss um, and they may have went back to somebody else with the Five of Pentacles in reverse to offer them a relationship. Um, but with the Queen of Cups in reverse in, in energy here, this could be somebody who is just emotionally unstable. This could be somebody who's just not in love. They went back to a situation that they, there was no love there. They're not in love with this person. Um, because the feminine energy represents what's going on inside you. And with the Queen of Cups in reverse here, this could represent somebody who's not in love. But they went back to they went to somebody that they're not in love with. So this could have been this person, you know, who came to you. And as a result, you know, they're cheating on you. They're not paying you any attention. You know, for some of you, you know, the fighting ended because this person moved out and left. Okay? That's what I'm getting for some of you. Could have been a friendship. Could have been a brother and sister type of scenario as well. Doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. Could have been a roommate situation, an old roommate situation. But what's going to go on is Saturn is going to bring back, you know, you're going to bring back something that's going to tap into 
you know, the old outdated patterns or routines that you had in reference to this situation and test you to see if you're still on that page, all right? Have you truly grown? Because time has changed now. Time has gone on, and you should have changed with the times. So we have judgment in reverse, major arcana. This is Pluto energy. This is about making moral decisions, um, ethical decisions, decisions in reference to integrity, okay? How you feel about yourself. This is your reputation as well, how you see yourself, how others see you, all right? And here, with this in reverse, this is talking about maybe making decisions that were not in your best interest morally, ethically, okay? This could also talk about divorce as well. Now, there's going to be an extended to this video. So the link's in the box below if you care to join, but we will break down these cards specifically in the extended, but we'll talk about them here first. So the current situation is temperance, major arcana, this is Sagittarius energy. The challenge is the six of cups energy here, Scorpio energy, where your head is at or where your spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors want you to keep in mind or what they want you to embody is the energy of the ace of cups reversed. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. All right. And then where your head is at is the fool. This is Uranus energy. So this is you. All right. You're ruled by Uranus. All right. And then the outcome here is the Ace of Swords in reverse. Aries, I'm sorry, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, air energy. So there's something about a truth not being accepted or the truth, someone being in denial about something, someone not seeing the reality of a situation, somebody lying to somebody. Okay, and it could be a fact about them not being in love, not wanting to be in a serious relationship. Somebody from the past is coming back for sure with the Six of Cups energy here. <clears throat> but some of you, this is a situation where you may, you may be good. This was a situation that really hurt you in the past, and you've healed from it, and you've moved on. You learned your lessons as far as how you were moving, as far as the routines and the patterns that you were moving in to get yourself into that situation. So you ended those routines and patterns that got you into that situation. You ended the situation. You've grown. You moved on. We saw that with the death card, right? And the queen of swords energy and the first spread. So now here you are with temperance energy. Your head and your emotions are now balanced, okay? Because this is the earth which represents, you know, um, you being practical and stable in your emotions. Here's the sun which represents your desires, you know, your emotions, your passions, Okay, so you're stable with that because it's balanced. You're balancing that. The challenge is if somebody from the past is coming back or there could be some immature behavior that you used to partake in that is going to reappear in your life. That's the challenge here with Saturn retrograde. All right. Um, and then your spirit guides, guardian angels and ancestors are reminding you here that this was not love with the Ace of Cups in reverse. This was not a love situation, even though you may have thought this was love. It came out to be that this person was not in love with you. Um, they may have been using you for one reason or another. I'm not really sure, but we'll clarify and extend it and find out. Um, and so, you know, where your head was at after this is like, okay, I'm going to start over new. I'm going to leave all that shit behind. Um, but the outcome here, or this could be someone coming to you saying they want to start all over. <clears throat> but the thing is, is they're not being truthful and honest with you with the Ace of Swords. Or this could be you being in denial about what this person is telling you. Maybe you're not asking for the truth. Maybe you're so happy this person is coming back that, you know, you're like thinking, okay, well, it was meant to be. You come back to me. So let's see where things go. But you may not be looking at things clearly with the Ace of Swords in reverse. You're just focused on the fact that, okay, this is a new beginning. This person has come back to me from the past. <clears throat> so it must be meant to be. A lot of people think that way. You know, I used to think that way too. But I also now understand that I'm into astrology that some people come back into your life to retest your ass to see if you still are going to go back to that old way of dealing with that person and not looking at things from a mature perspective, which is what Saturn and retrograde is doing for you. All right. So let's see what's up. So the first set of cards here, we have the judgment in reverse again, making um, immoral decisions. OK, decisions that um, go against your reputation as, you, as how you feel about yourself. OK, this could also be putting you in a situation where people are going to be looking at you as somebody who makes immoral decisions. And, you know, you don't want your reputation of that. We have the King of Swords energy, which is your energy, Aquarius energy. We have Major Arcana, the devil in reverse. We have the King of Cups in reverse energy, Scorpio energy. 
And we have the Knight of Wands energy. <clears throat> so this is, for some of you, this is a divorce. You ended up separating from someone with the King of Swords energy and the Judgment in Reverse. You, fit, you realize you chose the wrong partner as far as marriage is concerned. So you got a divorce. You looked at it from a logical standpoint. You realize you made an incorrect decision. This is not the relationship that I want. You know, morally and ethically, this is not what represents me and what I want. So you left it behind. Um, it could have been a behavior or activity as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could be a place or a thing as well. Because you realize that it was toxic for you with the devil energy in reverse. And the good thing is it's in reverse, meaning that you left it behind. Okay, for some of you with this King of Cups in reverse energy, it was you were acting in ways that were or you were dealing with people who were acting in ways towards you that showed that they did not love you. They did not care for you. Um, they were emotionally manipulating you for a lot of you. And then this person ended up leaving you or they were messing around with other people with the Knight of Wands energy. Okay, this person may have tried to come as you at, may have come at you as king status, but in really reality, they were just an, um, a knight. Okay, when you broke it all down and you saw their behavior and how they acted. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for some of you. Now, male and females, okay, human beings have masculine and feminine energy in them. So when I'm reading these, I'm reading as energies. I'm not reading as a man did this or a woman did this because men can do the same thing as women in reference to manipulating and playing games with people and sleeping around and all the other stuff that people go through in relationships. All right. So we got the Two of Wands energy here. We got the Hangman in reverse. Major Arcana. This is a Neptunian energy. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. We have the Major Arcana, the Hierophant, showing up again. We have the Nine of Cups. Oh, I done pulled six cards, but that's okay. We'll rock with it. And I've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm sorry, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, so this is you deciding what you're going to do here. With the hangman in reverse, this is you feeling betrayed by someone, realizing that you couldn't see what was going on. And a lot of it had to do because of this person was lying to you with the page of swords in reverse um, in reference to how they were moving. Okay, and they didn't want a serious relationship. They didn't want marriage. Okay, with the nine of cups reverse, they you could have been married to this person. But what was going on is this person was dealing with other people with the nine of cups in reverse here. And as a result, your relationship ended with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. That's what I'm getting for some of you. Yeah, because see, this Page of Swords in reverse could represent this person not communicating what they really wanted from you. So they weren't communicating the fact that they didn't want marriage or the fact that they wanted an open marriage. Some of you, they you know, you were dealing with someone who wanted an open marriage or maybe you wanted an open marriage. Um, and this is something that this person maybe didn't want or you didn't want, depending on who we're talking to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the extended. We're going to clarify this and find out what's going on with this person who's coming back in. We're going to get you some, um, messages in reference to, um, advice, um, in reference to how to deal with this situation. Cause some of you are going to be weak for this person. And, and like I said, a lot of you, you feel like. And I used to think this way too. Well, this person came back to me, so it must be meant for us to be together. So you put all your energy and effort into it. But the reality is, is some of these people come back in your life to test you to see if you're going to fall for the same bullshit. Because a lot of these people have not changed. Okay, who are coming back into your life. And once you understand astrology, you'll understand that it's just test to see how well you've grown. To see how far you've grown. Are you still going to be indulging in that type of behavior you did? Or did you outgrow it? Because that's what Saturn Retrograde is all about. Did you outgrow it? Did you change with the times? Even though some people that you dealt with in the past did not. All right? So we'll go to the extended. We'll clarify. We'll find out what advice Spirit has for you guys. So that you guys will be prepared for this energy, person, place, or thing that may come into your life testing you. To see if you've truly matured and grown. All right? So uh, we'll see you in the extended.